It's the after show with Dorinda and Isaac and Bruce Bozzi from the Palm and Red Sox. You know, Bruce Thank and you. I were on a plane once in first class. We got upgraded with Kevin Aquan. And yes, we, we did. He was such a lovely, he was great, a great guy. Great guy. Yeah. Wasn't, yeah. Wasn't and so, um, Isaac, you can see him in the documentary Larger Than Life. The Kevin Aquan. How do you say it? Aquan? Well, I say O'Coin because I'm American, but right. he preferred O'Coin. Okay. Yeah. Um, story, it's available on iTunes and on demand. And you can see Isaac live in Moderate to Severe at the Bay Street Theater in Sag Harbor on August 6th in City Winery in New York. And of course, see Dorinda to. all season long on the Real Housewives in New York City. Uh, let's go to the phones. Call her, what's your name, and from where are you calling? Hey, Andy, this is Danya. I'm calling from Flushing, New York. Hey, Danya, are you the flashy girl from Flushing? I am indeed. Not the flatulent girl, the flashy girl. Yeah. What's your question? Uh, so my question, first I just want to say I love you, love Dorinda and Isaac. Uh, I think everyone does. And my question is for Dorinda. I was wondering how come we don't see John on the show anymore. We went from seeing him all the time to Aww. kind of like sneak peeks, and now he's completely off the radar, and I think people miss him. Uh, was that a conscious decision on your part? I think, it was a yep. con <laughs> I think it was a conscious decision on both our parts. You know, it's nice to have that break between, you know, the f you know people not on the film and have a private life. And I felt too much, there was too much focus on him and not enough focus on me. Well, also, <laughs> well, let me say, too sure, too I sure, think darling. Dorinda too also sure. had a, 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 a experience where everyone had an opinion on yeah. your, your relationship and John, and it was really tough on you. Can you it's do that? Tough. Like, can you say to Andy Cohen, like, I don't want my boyfriend on the show anymore? Well, yeah, because he's not under, he's not. He oh, he's not under contract, it. just you. I mean, listen, I well, love We want to see him and we want to see your life. But, but, I, question, but one yes. thing that's different is I talk about John still on the show all the yes. time. I don't do that thing and pretend he's not part of my life. We just, you know, made a decision, and who knows, you know, if I'm asked fast next season, who knows if he's <laughs> gonna make it back on. Back to the uh, phones. Call her, what's your name, and from where are you calling? My name is Emily, and I'm calling from Wisconsin. Hey, Emily, what's your question? First, I just have to quickly say, Dorinda, I'm obsessed with you, and you're my favorite housewife oh, of all time. Oh, thank you. Who isn't obsessed with Dorinda? But my question is for Isaac. Okay. Uh -oh. um, I know that you were involved with a cabaret show, and yeah. if you had the opportunity, what song would you want to sing in a duet with the Countess Luann? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> maybe Money Can't Buy You Class. There you go. It sounds like a logical choice. Yeah, I think Call her, so. what's your name, and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Wick from Atlanta, Georgia. What's um, your name? Andy, I love you so much. What, Wick with a W, like a candle wick. Wick, I um, like it. I like a southern guy named Wick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm from the south. Swipe you right. Um, Swipe right, Andy. My Swipe right. question is for Dor Dorinda. Um, Dorinda, I wanted to know if you still have a friendship with Tom, and if so, have you discussed Blue Ann's recent trip to rehab? <gasps> Tom. Mm -hmm. I was never that close to Tom. I knew him from the Upper East Side, so you know I have an acquaintance with him. If I see him, I say hi. If we're out, but I don't know. I don't. I've never hung out with Tom or had dinner with Tom even before he uh, wed Lou. Have you had any contact with Luann recently? No, not. At, I haven't no. spoken to Luann since we wrapped at a wow. cabaret March fourth. Wow. And listen, I wish her well. I hope she is you know using this time to get healthy and be happy and get back on track and oh because she wasn't at the reunion is that what you're saying no, she, correct. she wasn't okay. at the reunion yeah she um and none of us really know even what's going on so uh, but listen i hope you know you know what she soon. looked amazing this season don't you think yeah she looked really she looked, good it was yeah, a, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's very Consolation to anything, because seriously, I always think it's a consolation when someone says, Wow, you looked really good. Even she though you looked were... beautiful. I'm reading a galley of Isaac's new book, uh, which is a, oh, yeah. his biography, and it is so wonderful. I'm halfway through it. Wow. He's such a brilliant writer. And anybody uh, who's interested in just a great book and a great story, you can probably pre order the book now on Amazon. But you say something. Sure, but, yeah. yeah, for sure you but, can. Okay, for, for You say something. <laughs> about being thin where you say like literally everything could be going wrong but and if you're, you're thin who cares right that's, yeah <laughs> no i love i love that saying that at that dinner party winston churchill and that who was it rothschild said an ugly woman's a lazy woman 
Wow. Oh. Talk about misogyny. God. Um, back they to really the phone. Call they? her what's your name horrible, and from where man. are you calling? Hi, it's Eileen from Syosset, New York. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you, Eileen? Okay. Oh. If Bruce is still there, wow. I can tell him that I had my first four pound lobster over at the Palm when I was 13, and I've been eating there for four dec over four decades Thank since. You. Love Very the Palm. Very nice. Wow. You Thank know you, Eileen. People who go to the Palm yeah. once make a tradition of I it, and the they keep going back. Thank you. No, I've been going there for 40 years. Oh, my I've God. Wow. Which. The rack of lamb I love. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, but. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dorinda. My question Hi. is for Isaac. Hi. Just wanted to know, former Brooklyn girl, we grew up in Brooklyn right near you, um, wanted to know, over the decades in fashion, who was your favorite celebrity client and who was the bitchiest celebrity client? If you can oh, tell. Who was my favorite celebrity? You're okay. I, was I think it was clients. no. I think it was Liza. Liza was my favorite. Oh, oh my God, that's amazing. And by the way, that I've read that book, I now know it? what a moment that is. That? Who yes. knew that I had that much in me? To and write do you know that? Liza? And and do you know that Isaac used to perform as Barbara Streisand I for the did neighborhood? I when I was a kid. But I he writes and he writes he writes yeah. very touchingly. And I don't want to give away the book, but I do. Okay. I will say because I read. feel like I know. Send me a signed copy. I know you so well. No, but he. Used to, but then, but then the kids used to kind of make. Some people were laughing with him, and some people were laughing at him. Exactly. He oh writes so God. eloquently wow. about that feeling when he realized. By the way, Andy is one of three people who has read this book. Seriously. Well, but I'm very touched by it. But I you write that. very eloquently about when you realized, wow, they're laughing at me. And right. I, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then suddenly it just turns into this thing. That yeah. You who you are today? Look who's laughing now. Yes. 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 Okay. By the way. Liza Minnelli's dog rumor. Oh, I love oh, do that. you? I do. I Last call of the night. So much in common. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Nadia from Detroit, Michigan. Nadia from My the question? D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We love you, Andy. I love you. I love Detroit. I had a great time there last year. I went to the Motown Museum and more. <laughs> I know I wish I could have seen you when you were in town, oh, but I, I was I stuck <laughs> working. Next time. <laughs> anyway, well, what's your yeah, question? Next time. <laughs> My question is for Dorinda. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dorinda, what did you think of the conversation Bethany had with Luann after the dinner blowout regarding your drinking? I don't think of it. I, I think there's a lot to be said coming from people that drink. Right. You know, there's a lot of Kelly in the kettle black, and I don't think anyone is in a position to be speaking like that, especially people that are supposed to be, you know, having your back. So I don't think of it. I think it's just banter, and I think people like to talk because they don't like to look at themselves. And do you think, and, and, and in moments where you're turnt after you've been drinking on the show, how do you regard those moments? I always, here's the thing you know, we've been doing this now, going, what, four years? I always admit to my, all my mistakes, and it's, you know, when it happens, I say, oh, my God, I'm sorry it happened. And we were on a vacation. We were doing the show. And I always admit it. But believe me, if, uh, you know, if we really dragged up every time we brought up someone's drinking on the show, the whole, yeah. the whole place would be a shit show. Yes. It would be one big rehab. I mean, we've seen it. So I just think it's an opportunity to, for people to point the finger. You know what they say when you're pointing the finger? There's three pointing back, so... Wow. I want to thank Dorinda Isaac and Bruce Bozzi for more. Click around on BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.